Okay, so what could be a formula that describes this pattern right here? So what do we have? Well, we have some diamonds with some dots on them. And we start off with this diamond right here. Then we move on to this diamond right here. Then we move on to this diamond right here. So what we have is a sequence of diamonds with dots on them. And that is a big clue on what this problem is about. Matter of fact, I'll say the word again, a sequence. Okay, so we're talking about sequences from a mathematical standpoint. And we're trying to determine a formula that describes this sequence right here. But uh, luckily for us, we have a multiple choice question. And the right answer is one of these choices. So A is 2N, B is 4N, C is 8N, and D is N squared. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, what does N stand for? Well, I'm not going to tell you that just yet because I think through logic and common sense, you can figure out what N stands for and get the right answer. Matter of fact, if you do have the right answer, put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here is this pattern, or this sequence. And of course, you need to study it uh, carefully. But the correct answer, a formula, one of these uh, expressions right here, describes this sequence or pattern. All right, so which one is it? Well, let's take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is B. 4n. All right, now if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a uh, certificate of excellence for being able to solve this problem. Because I believe that some of you out there may not even know what a sequence is, or maybe you totally forgot uh, what a sequence is in mathematics. But this, uh, you know, through common sense and reasoning, you know, something just kind of told you, you know what, I think 4n is the way to go in this problem. So if you're able to kind of reason through and just kind of pick this answer, that's fantastic. But if you are lost, don't worry about it. We're going to cover the solution right now. All right, so here is our problem. And uh, we have the, these diamonds with dots on them. So really, what is the pattern? Well, uh, we kind of have to look beyond the diamond, uh, the actual shape, and not be kind of tricked. What we want to focus on is the number of dots, right? So here we have four dots, here we have eight dots, and here we have 12 dots on these diamonds. So if we think about the problem in this term, well, I think things get much more interesting. All right, so we have a pattern. It starts with four, then we go to eight, and then we go to 12. So what's the connection? What's uh, the relationship between these numbers right here? Well, uh, as we uh, talked about the correct formula, or a relationship is one of these answers. Matter of fact, it's this answer right here. And uh, if you figured out, um, you know, the problem, or you looked at the problem in this way, four, eight, and twelve, well, I think uh, most people could, you know, eventually say, you know what, four n looks like it's a pretty good choice. And even if you don't know what n is, you know, it appears to be the best option. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm still totally lost. What's going on here? Well, we are talking about sequences. So let's get into this right now. And if you don't know what a sequence is, well, this uh, little video will be a great micro introduction to the topic. All right, so what is uh, a sequence? Well, a sequence can be any sequence of numbers. It could just literally be one, two, three, four, five, or we can have numbers like this, one, three, five, seven, and 11. So here, we're listing out the prime numbers. Here's just regular integers, right? Regular whole numbers. Uh, so a sequence can be any kind of sequence of numbers. Now, these numbers or values are separated by commas, and we uh, call these numbers terms in the sequence. Now, I'm gonna uh, really get into some specific things about sequences here in a second. But before I do that, uh, I wanna talk about another associated topic and a lot of people confuse this. So here is a sequence, okay? So we can have just a basic sequence like this. 
Now, another thing that you study when you uh, learn about sequences is something called a uh, series, okay? Now, a series is basically a sequence, but it's the sum of a sequence. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is a series. This is a sequence, so you don't want to confuse the two. Now, typically, uh, sequence and series at a more advanced level is uh, studied uh, generally like in the second year, you know, um, math class like Algebra 2, College Algebra, certainly pre-calculus, and this is a pretty advanced topic, but we can talk about it in a very simplistic way. And let's go ahead and get into this right now. So what is a sequence in terms of mathematics, all right? So we're going to uh, define that, and then, of course, we're going to work on getting the right answer. Okay, so really what we want is a formula to this sequence. And, of course, we have our diamonds here. So we can kind of, uh, you know, forget the actual diamond shape. Uh, the diamonds here, the number of dots is what we uh, really want to be focused on. So here we have 4, here we have 8, and here we have 12. So we're thinking about 4, 8, and 12. So this is a, a great kind of way or a simplistic way to think about the problem. Now, obviously, we have this kind of visual uh, representation of these numbers, but really we're trying to find a formula that represents or describes this uh, pattern or sequence. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it right now. So here we go, uh, 4, 8, and 12. What can we do to find a formula for this pattern, okay, or these numbers, all right? So 4 goes to 8, goes to 12. All right, interesting. So a lot of you, um, you know, hopefully say, well, this has something to do with 4. So maybe 4 times 1 is 4. And then here we go to 8, but uh, maybe we think of 8 as 4 times 2. And then 12, maybe we think of that as 4 times 3. Well, we're definitely on to something here, and that's the way you want to think about this problem. All right, so let's talk about sequences. So I'm going to give you a mathematical definition of a sequence, or kind of like a little bit of a technical definition. Then I'm going to describe a sequence, and then we'll uh, build this formula. Okay, so if you're not familiar with some of these terms, don't worry about it. But uh, for those of you that know what a function is and domain is, uh, you'll understand this definition. All right, so a sequence is a function, okay, whose domain is the set of positive integers. So the function values are the following, a1, a2, a3, on and on and on to a n. Now, don't let these words scare you too much, a function and a uh, domain and positive, uh, positive integers. I'm going to kind of describe this to you right now. For those of you that may have been away from math for many years, or maybe you're like, hey, Mr. U2 Math Man, I didn't even take algebra in a math class, you know, or in school. Can I still understand this problem? Indeed you can, because I'm going to explain this in a way where everyone can understand. All right, so a sequence is a function whose domain is a set of positive integers. So here is what we're talking about. Okay, so this is a sequence. So here is the terms of the sequence, A1, a2, A3. This is how we say this. In mathematics, these little numbers uh, that we write down in the bottom right are called subscripts. But uh, this right here is literally the first term of the sequence. So if we have 1, 2, uh, 3, uh, the first term, uh, 1, would be A sub 1. Okay, this is the first term of the sequence. 2 is A sub 2. 3 here would be A sub 3. Okay, these are the terms of the sequence. Now, a sequence is a function, okay, a, a function in mathematics. A function, uh, for those of you that know what a function is, you can think of a simple function like f of x is equal to x squared. Basically, we have an input, okay, we can plug something into the function, and then we can get an output. So let's take f of x is equal to x squared. So if I had f of 2 here, or let's do something a little bit more interesting, I know my work is getting a little bit crowded. So our input here is x. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why this is important to understand in just one second. So let's find f of 3. Okay, so we're plugging in 3 into this function, so we're going to square 3. So 3 squared is 9. So f of 3 of this function is 9. Now the domain of a function, okay, is the set of all the numbers, okay, that you can plug into the function. All right, so in this case, the domain is a set of positive integers. What are we talking about there? What, the numbers 1, 
two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera. So a uh, sequence is a uh, function where these numbers here are actually the domain, the input values, A1, A2, A3. It's kind of like plugging in these one, two, and threes into a function like this for those of you that understand functions. So, you know, in mathematics, you definitely have to understand all the little details, but that's what we have so far. Okay, so this is a sequence. It's a function where the domain of uh, the sequence here is uh, the positive integers, one, two, and three. All right, so these are the terms, and this uh, goes on, and uh, obviously we're talking about positive integers. Okay, so let me give you an example, kind of uh, really kind of let this kind of sink in. So here is our lovely sequence. We have four, eight, and 12. These are the terms of the sequence. So our first term is a sub one, that's four. Our second term of the sequence is a sub two, eight, and our third term of our sequence is a sub 3, 12. All right, so let's construct a formula. Now remember, the domain, the input uh, values of a sequence are these numbers right here. So if we want to build a formula, these are the numbers that we have to use. This is our input value. So let's go ahead and build this formula. So we have 4, 8, and 12. This is our a sub 1. This is our a sub 2. Here's our a sub 3. What we're looking for is a general formula so we can find any term of a sequence and when we kind of think about this we're like all right i'm seeing a pattern here one times four is four two times um two times four is what that's eight three times four is what that's 12. so we're getting pretty close to finding the actual formula but uh before we actually look at that formula i need you to take a quick look at this and hit that subscribe button. I definitely need your support to continue to grow my YouTube channel. Uh, my channel is all about, you know, really encouraging people to never, ever, ever give up on themselves in terms of learning mathematics, right? So if you're struggling with math, I know it's very easy to kind of get uh, start getting this negative thinking like, oh boy, I'm struggling. I'm not smart enough. This is too hard. I'll never get this. You know, this happens to all of us, including yours truly. So we really have to kind of rein in, you know, our thought process and kind of control our mind because our minds just like to go off in various directions. So if you're struggling with math, you know, uh, what you need to do is kind of settle yourself down and just say, all right, I'm going to uh, be successful because you absolutely can. But what do you need to be successful? Well, the first thing you need is a positive mindset. The second thing you need is great, clear and understandable, comprehensive math instruction. Uh, that you can obviously understand. Now, if you need help in mathematics, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. Now, for those of you that uh, might be interested in just kind of learning about uh, sequences and patterns, uh, I teach that in my basic uh, courses like Math Foundations and my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Now, uh, some of you out there are actually in more advanced mathematics. So if you're truly into sequence and series and all this kind of good stuff like arithmetic, geometric, sequence and series, then you gotta check out my pre-calculus course. I'll teach you everything you need to know. But uh, anyways, I definitely need your help. So hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go back and finish up this problem now. So again, we wanna be very uh, precise because we are talking about a mathematical sequence. So here's our pattern, four, eight, and 12. So our first term is a sub one, our second term is a sub two, and our third term, which is 12, is a sub three. Now remember the domain of the function is the positive real, uh, positive integer. So that would start with one, two, three, and so forth. And we're looking for here is a general formula a sub n so we can find any term of the sequence so in other words let's suppose i wanted to find the fourth term of the sequence well we could just use a general formula to uh, figure that out all right so what's going on here well it looks like uh, one times four is four okay so again we have to use these uh, numbers as input all right so four times one is four that makes sense all right, so if we have an input of two, how can we get eight? Well, two times four is eight. So it looks like uh, our formula is developing here where we just have four times uh, the term, whatever term 
we're looking for. So the third term of the sequence is going to be 3 times 4, which is 12. So how can we kind of generalize this? Well, we'll just, uh, instead of having 1, 2, and 3, we'll just call this 4n. And n represents uh, the term that you want to know. So our next term would be a sub 4. So to figure that out, uh, to figure out what a sub 4 is, as a matter of fact, let me kind of go down here. All we'd have to do is go 4 times 4. We're looking for the fourth terms. A fourth term in a sequence of 4 times 4 is 16. So over here, we just got to plug in a 16. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's a lot of work. Why don't we just kind of like add a 4 here, right? So we have a 4, 4 plus 4, another 4 here, another 4 there. Well, we could add a 4, but remember, in a sequence, the domain is the positive uh, integers. It's these numbers here, okay? So we're looking for the nth term. So we have to uh, consider that when we're building our uh, formula. So the best formula for this pattern is 4n. Okay, so hopefully this was a nice little introduction to sequences. I know I got a little bit technical on you, but uh, don't let these words, you know, uh, bother you too much. But it is important uh, that, you know, as you progress in mathematics that you actually understand these terms. Matter of fact, functions is probably one of the most important things that you have to learn in all of mathematics. And, uh, you know, this is taught at various levels of algebra. Of course, if you're uh, talking about functions, you need to know about domain, range, on and on and on. And I need to stop this video because I could just continue to yap about math because I love mathematics that much. But again, if you're struggling with anything in math, get help, okay, whether it's for me or someone else. Make sure you, uh, you know, just don't, you know, uh, give up. That's the worst thing you can do. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.